Okay, um, I don't know what the hell's about to happen, but let's find out. Right. I'll talk about it in a second. I'm not happy already. Is this Bloober team? Oh, good God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so wrong. Oh my god, what? This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Am I seeing the gazebo? Right, okay. Now YouTube, I've hesitated to start this channel because I'm not going to come out with the usual pacifying, placating, positive sentiment that a lot of YouTubers will. Just about stuff in general. Obviously, like this event was kind of sprung upon us um so i wasn't really preparing for this like i've been writing a script for a teardown of resident evil village for a while and it was going to be my first video i'll get to that at some point um but then of course we found out about this um
Silent Hill 2 is my favourite game of all time. And I never really wanted a remake. Because the only people that can really handle a remake are the original people that made Silent Hill 2 in the first place. Um, they're the only people that really know where this game comes from. And I am never going to play this. The Silent Hill 2 HD collection was already bad enough, and in some ways it's worse because that's messing with like the original version. But this is just bad. This is this is atrocious. It's not just bad, it's atrocious. Like this, I'm sorry, but this is why we didn't want Blueber Team touching this. Several things that we need to go through. The most obvious one is the melodrama that's being presented here. I am absolutely dejected. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I am not going to play this. Like, it's just not going to happen, so... No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give it a chance. I am... I am categorically depressed. <laughs> Silent Hill 2 is supposed to depress you, but not in this way. Um, what can I say? So, the, the obvious thing is just the melodrama of all of this. That is not Silent Hill 2 at all. Like, I'm sorry, like, the whole point of Silent Hill 2 is that the characters that are there are in, like, a fugue state, and any of the emotions... Any of the emotions that they present or display are weird, they misfire, they don't read right. It's generally not a game that displays honest emotion until you get to the reading of the letter. Mary's letter at the end of the game, that is like pretty much the only genuine, plausible display of emotion in the game. Because it's out of context, it's being read you know, kind of, before the game happens. Um, and to have James running around frantically and, and like, you know, dramatically getting on his knees and stuff, like, James is blank in Silent Hill 2. He does not know why the hell he's doing the things that he's doing. I knew... That if someone ever was going to make to remake this game that they were going to make it really hammy and just like miss everything about the original game because they just didn't understand it and this is exactly that and below the tip look like i haven't played the medium yet um I'll probably get around to it at some point, but it's not exactly top of my list because I know for a fine fact that it's not really the kind of horror game that I'm going to enjoy because it's not a classic, typical survival horror game with, you know, combat and all of that. Um, but regardless, from what I have seen of the medium, I knew that they would not be able to handle Silent Hill 2. Hell, I don't even think that Naughty Dog would get Silent Hill 2 right. Um, so the main, the, the obvious thing that's wrong with this is just the pres presentation of, like, dramatics and, like, that is not what the original game is like in the slightest. It's just not... The other things, if we go through the actual trailer itself, which are just absolutely wrong, the start as the game starts with a tease of the cockroach because it's pointing towards PT. And you do not do a cute little, oh, this might be PT kind of trick with a Silent Hill 2 reveal because Silent Hill 2 is so much more important than PT. 
Jesus Christ. And then we have James frantically running into the bathroom when when it became obvious that no it's the bathroom of silent hill 2 we have james frantically running through the door and check checking his hands and oh uh, like why is that happening in the original game when it starts off silent uh silent hill 2 james is in the bathroom looking in the mirror very calm he's not in a panic because like that looked like he's come across some monsters already and he hasn't, so why is he frantically rushing into the bathroom to look in the mirror and check his hands and stuff like the game hasn't begun at that point. When he's looking in the mirror in the original game, nothing has happened yet. He is a complete blank slate. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. So immediately the kinesis of the trailer is way off. And like, we're like two or three seconds in. I'm trying to think now, I'm trying to think back to the stuff that was wrong. Um, obviously, Pyramid Head walking in the door there at the end in the rain or whatever. Like, I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't know why we're meeting Maria on the gazebo. The gazebo's in the park, yeah, sure. But why have you changed it from the side of the lake? I don't understand. Why? Why have you done that? There's no need to do it. The voice acting is... Look, here's the thing. If there was ever going to be a remake of Silent Hill 2, the only, th the only version I would accept would be one which includes all of the original audio. I'm sorry, but like, like regardless of what people think about the James Sunderland voice actor and his real life or whatever in... 2022 his performance is james sunderland and that was not that was just hammy melodrama it was bad enough when troy baker was cast as james sunderland i i haven't played silent hill 2 the hd collection or silent hill 3 h like i haven't played this, the hd collection at all because of that um and i can just see already there's going to be so much about this game that is just absolutely wrong and just doesn't get it right this this is like if you were and the, the the timeline works here because it's kind of the original thing that i'm about to talk about came, kind of came out around about the same time this is like if you took david lynch's mulholland drive and got jordan peele to remake it for whenever this game comes out and if that sounded not like if that sounded like a not bad idea to you, you are part of the problem. Jordan Peele cannot direct David Lynch. I'm not I don't particularly rate Jordan Peele. But either way, regardless of how you feel about him, he can't make a remake of Mulholland Drive. And Bloober Team certainly can't make Silent Hill 2. I don't care. Whatever the hell is going to come up in the rest of this event. I'm never going to play this. Those are my honest feelings. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This isn't the usual YouTube influencer bullshit. This is absolutely wrong. On um, It's going to get so many things wrong. This is just an absolute waste of energy. And there are plenty of people like in the live chat... You know, like, woohoo, yay, great sound till two. Never played it, but I'm looking forward to it. And they're excited because it's like a big name thing. And there are, there were a couple of like, oh god, no comments in the live chat. And yeah, I'm right there with you. This is bad. I am. Um, I'm kind of in the fugue state that James was in the game. I am massively depressed by this. Not the way I was expecting my YouTube channel to start off, but. 
you would go ahead and do this, wouldn't you? Right. Yeah, I'm never going to play this. <laughs>